Thank you, Captain Mutsune, uh, the two program directors. Thank you very much. I'm not sure what is happening. I can see the, the place is still empty. And, you know, we refused uh, other people the opportunity to attend. We said the hall was full. But when you see the seats that are empty, it's a bit scary now. You know. Okay. The Chief of the South African Air Force, Lieutenant General Mbambo. Nigerian Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Gambo. I'm not sure, Admiral. The High Commissioner has not yet arrived. It's on his way. Okay. Nigerian High Commissioner to South Africa, His Excellency Mohammed Aruna Madna in absentia, but we are told that is on his way. Commander of the Nigerian, of the Namibian Navy, Rear Admiral Amongulu. Deputy Chief of the SA Navy, Rear Admiral Lovese. Deputy Chief of the DRC Navy for Intelligence and Operations, Rear Admiral Ismail. Flag Officer Fleet, Rear Admiral Nkomonde. Chief Director of Maritime Strategy, Rear Admiral Nkonto, members of the Navy Command Council, generals and admirals, retired generals and admirals, all SADAC member states, representatives, chairperson of AMD, Sefale Munzi, I don't think she's here, sponsors, Damien Reutek, Twiga, Tarowex, and Siemens. The think tanks, NGOs, and academia. Defense industry representatives, military attache and advisory corps, media houses in our midst. Ladies and gentlemen, all protocols observed, and good morning. The late former South African President Nelson Kholisa Mandela in 1997, he said, and I quote, the sea is a vital national interest and that is why we maintain a Navy. Just as we believe that all people should be free, so too as a nation we believe, so, correction, so, Two, as a nation, we believe in the freedom of the seas. That is a matter of national strategic interest. We are a maritime nation trading all over the world. We accept our obligation to combine with other maritime nations to uphold the freedom of the seas and to protect our national interests through naval power close quote. Maritime and naval powers, if anything, are even more important today than in the past. The recent conflict events in Europe have made European nations reconsider their mili military's importance, their budget allocations, and reprioritizing national and maritime security globally in what the European Union refers as the strategic compass. In the African context, Africa remains heavily dependent on seaborne trade. Offshore oil and gas are increasingly important resources both to Africans and the industrialized world. Much of the global oil and cargo trade moves along our coast through the Red Sea and Suez Canal, along the Mozambique Channel, around the Cape of Good Hope, or through the Straits of Gibraltar, and, Africa, and African fishing grounds are important sources of protein for many countries in, our, in other parts of the world. Then surely, African and African militaries 
should likewise reconsider and reprioritize national and maritime security in the prevailing circumstances like our European and global partners. Maritime security is a component of collective security, stability and peace in a multipolar world order. Maritime security is a wide ranging, highly complex dimension of global security and should be approached as such. It is primarily localized within our ocean space, the airspace above it, the seabed, and its subsoil. Conceptually, maritime security entails a condition of prevailing stability order, space, balance, harmony, respect, and freedom of action. In other ways, the ideal preconditions for mankind to live in, however, is this the case? Some critical maritime trade routes of our contemporary global maritime domain remain seriously threatened by recurring incidents of piracy, maritime crimes, robbery, trafficking, trafficking in humans, narcotic drugs, weapons, nuclear, chemical, and radiological substances, illicit fishing and overfishing, overexploitation of minerals, fossil fuels and chemicals, illegal dumping of toxic substances and marine pollution. In the, in the context of the Black Sea, the trade routes are now hampered by the military actions. The deployment of military assets and more specifically the conventional deployment, deployment of sea mines. The Turkish Navy within the last two weeks have detected and diffused several drifting sea mines near the crucial Bosporus Channel, which links the Black Sea to the Sea of Mar Marmara and ultimately the Mediterranean Sea. Global shipping, as a result, has been disrupted and prices for commodities and oil continues to rise, affecting every market on the globe. These recurring phenomena and the contemporary application of military assets have critical, long-term and often permanent implications on our lives on Earth. Without a universal consciousness and awareness, the outcome is insecurity and instability on economic, social, and developmental spheres, especially to countries that are already unstable, underdeveloped, and fiscally weak with low growth rates. Maritime security, as it was originally termed, focused primarily on piracy or more accurately armed robberies at sea, initially of the Horn, off the Horn of Africa and now presently in the Gulf of Guinea. The maritime security has broadened to include governance and economic sustainability and to acknowledge its interlinking nature. In the last decade, Many states and international actors have prioritized maritime security and have placed it high on their respective security agendas. This is clearly evident by the multitude of regulatory frameworks, frameworks, bodies, and platforms such as the 2050 Africa Integrated Strategy, Maritime Strategy, which is popularly known as AIM. Regional in terms of the economic community of West Africa, ECOWAS, Integrated Maritime Strategy, the Common Market for Eastern and Southern Africa, COMESA, in collaboration with the Eastern African Community, EAC, and Intergovernmental Authority on Development, IGAT. 
the Maritime Committee of the Southern African Development Committee, which has been doing sterling work since its inception to develop cooperation among our navies here in the south of the continent, has recently completed the Integrated Maritime Security Strategy and is currently reviewing the action plan for the strategy itself, which should be completed within the coming months. This is an effort to align it more closely with the goals and objectives of the 2050 AIM strategy. Maritime insecurity and instability is a major concern to all SADC member states. SADC coastal states and land-linked states are equally dependent on maritime trade and any maritime instability and insecurity has profound negative consequences on the regional economies. Within the, Sanda, within the SADAC in particular, the ability of states to respond to maritime insecurity is severely compromised due to resource challenges such as budgetary constraints, inadequate training, lack of skills, as well as aging equipment and mass obsolescence. As a result, effective and efficient governance of maritime spaces remain a significant challenge to maritime security within the region. Within South, South African context, Operation Pakiza is pivotal to a more comprehensive and inclusive approach to addressing maritime security. Operation Pakiza is continuing to make strides in the right direction with the establishment of the oceans and coastal information management systems which is known as OSINs, including the establishment of maritime domain awareness centers, which is known as MDACs. In addition, a number of SADAC member states have signed agreement to establish MDACs. However, the critical link between these MDACs and the sharing and fusion of data remain elusive. Navies the world over are, by their very nature, able to play a significant role in maritime security by virtue of their versatility, flexibility, and adaptability. The South African Navy is no different and is mandated to fulfill a trinity of roles. The military or fighting role is its primary role, and the policing or constabulary and diplomatic roles are secondary. The first multi-mission inshore patrol vessel, one of three under Project Biro, is due to be commissioned very soon. There has also been steady progress made on the construction of the hydrographic survey vessel and these three sea motorboats under Project Hotel. Both projects will play a significant role in the South African Navy's mandated trinity of roles in such a dynamic environment. The South African Navy is continuing to patrol the Mozambique Channel as we speak. As part of the SADAC mission Operation Vigela, is actively cooperating with other navies in the region to enforce the law in the region. The terrorist group called the al Sanawal al-Jamaa, operating within the northern region of Mozambique, continues to pose a threat not only on land but to the maritime domain, which can impact on the continued security of sea lines of communication. An effective, an effective military maritime security response must be articulated collect collectively through dialogue, partnership, participation, and sound integration of its members, the maritime community and regional partners. It is this reason that the South African Maritime Security Conference holds remarkable potential to address the existing and futuristic threats and opportunities on our beloved continent so as to mitigate maritime security risks. 
If we wish to remain ahead of the curve, we are required to continually reassess our thinking as necessary, ensuring, ensuring that we benefit from the lessons of the past and from other region, regional partners. Maritime insecurity recognizes no national boundaries. Africa needs to develop maritime and naval powers, building on the basis of the forces available today. We can do much within our limited resources if we do the following. Cooperate with one another closely, that forces are fully interoperable, coordinate our operations, assist each other in terms of training and logistics support. Learn from each other. Draw in other forces, not just military and coast guards, the police, customs, immigration, fisheries, and port authorities, all have an important role to play. Develop direct communication channels for prompt dissemination of information and intelligence and for quick requests for assistance or support. Develop contingencies for security threats, including natural and man-made disasters. Work with international friends and partners and welcome their support to improving our maritime security. Ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, I must emphasize that we are not just neighbors. We are partners in developing our continent and ensuring its security and its future. Maritime security is not only the business of the South African Navy or any one entity. It is the business of each of us uh, represented here today. It was the former President Nelson Mandela who reminded us that South Africa is a maritime nation, one that has an obligation to uphold the freedom of the seas. In the final analysis, he was in fact alluding to the importance of maritime security to a nation whose well-being is dependent on the oceans. I thank you.